Within Havering, there's been a project uh, involving a number of schools to introduce the use of visualisers into teaching and learning. As part of that, we've introduced a number of visualisers at Endgame Primary School, and this is having real impact upon learning and teaching within the classroom. And I'm going to just trace up from there to the top. I'm going to make the difficulties when we didn't have a visualiser, it just slowed everything down, and the children were not as clear as what the expectation was. And with a visualiser, they know what what they're expected to do and so it takes away any anxiety and they're able to get on with things and the pace of the lesson can remain quick and children can just get on and they like it. Good boy. Everyone agree? Yeah. Good. Now, what county, thank you Ryan, what children that are shy and normally not willing to show what they know and understand, they are having more of the quiet children wanting to come up you know, up to the visualiser and use it, and it's actually better for me as well. You could perhaps do um, some lines. Because in, everything in is so line. visual, they can, all the children can see a process from beginning to end. You can repeat a process. They don't have to memorise instructions, they can see things. And so every child within the class today was able to keep up and produce a good piece of work. There was nobody left behind. I use the visualiser all day, every day. I use it in English for a lot of text work, it saves a lot of photocopying. I use it in maths with apparatus, I use it in so many different lessons. We've chosen a piece of material and now we've got to discover whether we have made it at least a partly waterproof. With practical tasks like scoring, cutting, measuring, the, the beauty of the visualiser is that it, you can actually demonstrate those uh, skills to the children uh, as a group, as a class group, or in, in smaller groups, with them actually seeing what you're doing. I've found with, with cutting, a simple task like cutting, you can actually show them how to hold this pair of scissors as a group, um, how to turn the card or the paper, and and exactly what it should look like to them, because especially the younger children do battle with that. I first used a visualiser at Nottingham University when I was delivering some training and the power of this tool for teaching and learning was immediately apparent uh, but the cost was prohibitive at the time. Now the cost um, is much more affordable and the end game we've decided to invest in this throughout the school um, for uh, enabling teaching and learning to take place. Children expect high quality images. Now we're living in a multimedia world, so they don't want grainy images anymore. They want a quality image on the screen. For example, if you took a, a document from the past, a newspaper, and you copied it on an overhead projector, onto an overhead transparency, projected that up, the outcome would be okay, but not fantastic. Putting it under a visualizer makes that artifact or document become live. It becomes real. It is in the hands of everyone through their own eyes. Before the visualiser, well, I had to sort of, if I had any, anything to show, I had to go around and hold it myself and go around all to sort of 29 or 30 children, which meant that they couldn't all see it at once. But now I can show things instantaneously and more people at once can actually see it there and then. Right, so we go right in. Do you think we've waterproofed it really well? I think the beauty of the visualiser is really its ease of use. It's not something that you have to make special arrangements to use. With a visualizer setup, you can actually, uh, in those moments of uh, immediacy in the classroom, as well as in those carefully prepared moments, it makes it so easy to put something under the visualizer, whatever you're looking at, whatever skills you're trying to convey to the children. And that is the tremendous beauty of the visualizer. And it, one of its strongest points in its arsenal is that it, it is easy, and simple to use. If you remove my visualiser today, I'll be very, very unhappy with you because I use it all the time. The children enjoy using it and we would feel like we'd taken a few steps backwards. It saves on preparation time, it's great for assessment and the children really enjoy using it independently and as part of a group. You can see tiny things and you can make them bigger. I need to show my work and uh, the visualiser and then everyone gets to see my work. It's easier than holding a book because you just look at the board and it's there. If the visualiser was, was taken away I would be very disappointed about that because we're 
the children really enjoy using it and I really enjoy using it so yeah I wouldn't be, wouldn't be pleased. We've had visits from schools including head teachers, teachers, we've had publishers, we've had other local authority advisors and in every case they are absolutely astounded by the power of the visualiser and they can see immediately how it would have a positive impact in their particular area of education. You're using existing teaching practice and methodology, you're just enhancing it and adapting it. The visualiser really is just another tool in the teacher's toolbox and, and that's what really is key to it all. To me the visualiser is such a great tool for the teacher today in the modern classroom.